Hello, Velo. I hope I pronounced that correctly. This will be some video feedback for you on the print ad. You have a great collection of ingredients, and I like the way you're beginning to collage uh, the photos. Uh, Velo, um, <clears throat> I, th this is what I'm getting, and part of it may be because I'm missing images. Um, it's not that I'm missing them, it's that they were embedded. So one important distinction to learn is the difference between linking to an image, which is external to a file, uh, or embedding it, which makes it uh, integrated with a file. So what you're looking at here um, are low-res images. They're, they're screen approximations. They're not the original photos. And, um, and you can tell that they're linked rather than embedded because they have an X through them. Okay. Uh, interesting what you've done with the silhouette of the part of the logo, and it looks like it has the uh, rest of the logo inside of it. Um, one big thing is it needs to be vertical format, so you, you consider changing it to uh, 8.5 by 11, or you know just vertical format. Now having said all that, um, your uh, file structure is really very good. I, I can turn things you know on or off at will, um, and uh, so that I like about it. Um, you'll need to start thinking about uh, type though, because uh, the uh, uh, you know, consider a slogan, for example. And one other thing you might consider doing, uh, let me uh, get these, where's that mermaid? You might consider varying the opacity. There we are, let me unlock it. Your file structure is good, by the way. Um, I just wanted to tell you that. Okay, so see here it says link. It should be embedded. Um, Certainly, you know, when you go to print these things, uh, they should be embedded rather than linked. Otherwise, you may have problems at uh, the service bureau. Okay, so I was, I was talking about uh, transparency. One of the ways that you can get a, um, a sort of a cleaner silhouette, like the mermaid I'm thinking of, is, is to vary this, the transparency. I've got the wrong layer. Ah, still again. Let's see if I can. I think you get the idea, though. There we go. That's the one I wanted to. Also, uh, try try some of those features. I just came across this. You know, make a mask. I wonder what that means. Release. Yeah. Um, but anyway, that's that's I think a smoother transition. Uh, contrast to scale too. You know, you can consider making some of these things quite large. Why not? Oh, okay, we do it this way. Uh, you know, there's usually several ways to do the same thing in um, both Illustrator and as well as Photoshop. Here, for example, if I scale it, what happens if it's huge? Uh, maybe that's too transparent. Anyway, I can have fun with your ingredients. If they were higher res, that is, if they were embedded, uh, it, you would get a better approximation of what's going on. Good, competent job. Think slogan. Also think contact information. And I would like to see the vector logo in its entirety on the page.